Welcome back, Guardians. Uh, turns out I was wrong in my most recent video. I thought that when Sloane was connecting to Asa, that she was getting memories from Asa about sort of Asa's origin story, because that video was about the uh, Asa being a proto worm god, essentially. That day, I went on Twitch, Twitch chat. As they do, la la la, you're wrong, Matt, you're wrong. Uh, don't you know what the season's about? And I said, what do you mean? And they're like, it's about the witnesses' origins. I'm like, no, it's not. Us is trying to give us information about trying to work out the witness and what the witness is doing with the portal. Like, that was my understanding of why we're communicating with Asa. And they said, well, why don't you go read the Bungie webpage? Uh... On Bungie's website, into the abyss, Titan's ocean floor is teeming with Taken and Hive searching for something at the bottom of its methane ocean. Guardians must follow them into the deep to uncover ancient secrets and learn more about the Witness's origins. So I was like, oh! <sighs> Maybe she is telling us about the Witness's origins and these... But why would she have those memories in the first place and then i thought well actually we are collecting the egregore coral and i have special guest here circadian wolf to help me muddle my way through this law say hi circadian wolf hello okay so egregore right is oh god i even made a whole video on the egregore but it it, it appears in the glycon it appears on uh those places that were sort of taken and then have returned, and now it's appearing on Titan, is the Egregore Coral. And it sounds like an interconnected like web of memories, correct? It's, yeah, the Egregore is basically a psychic sort of network that manifests as fungus, and that network is, is connected to the pyramids and to the Witness. Yeah, because the Witness... Does the Witness observe us through the Egregore? Is that like one of the theories around Egregore? Callus says, and Eris says, I think, actually, that when we connect to the network, like breathing in the egregore spores... Oh, that um, connects us. Yeah, yeah there yeah, are yeah. minds that witness us, is the quote. Uh, yes, right, so, right, right. So, I, I guess, to summarize this season, it seems like by collecting the egregore coral, uh, it is somehow connecting us, right, to these memories, and then us is then filtering it to Sloan, who's giving these like really cryptic messages each week. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't agree, do you? The corals. Uh, huh? No, the, it's, uh, it's possible. I mean, Drifter says the psychic connections are being used to help Sloan connect with Asa. But yeah, Asa getting like this knowledge of the witness from the egregore is definitely possible. And like, right. we don't know where else she could have got it from. Yeah, I'm definitely on the side of the fence now that every message we get from Sloan uh like each week is some portion of the witness's origin story you think that sometimes it's it is and sometimes it's not right it could be or I'm it's not confirmed currently, at least yeah currently i'm not sure if the first and second uh messages we get from her are about the same people or not right because that's what i referred to in the last one was just like desert and uh thinking that oh maybe it was to do with us's origin story Regardless, this week I do think is the Witness's origin story and it seems pretty big because it kind of confirms that the Witness um, was visited by the Traveller or their species was visited by the, by the Traveller, similar to what happened to us. So let me play that for you. A city of light. A, a flourishing garden. A silent god withholds a, a deeper truth. A questions unanswered. A longing unfulfilled. The sky darkens as a new journey begins. <sighs> 
So this sounds very much like the Traveler. Uh, and if we're assuming it's the Witness's origin story, well then that means the Witness species were visited by the Traveler. Now we actually have heard this before because it came up in Witch Queen in the Altar of Reflection in The Two Truths and Two Lies. Have a quick listen. We talked before. What is the Witness? This is the truth. The Witness was once mortal. Its people were blessed by the light, just as your kind were. In the light, these beings found power and knowledge. But they were not content. Power and knowledge turned to greed and despair. The witness was forever changed. Okay, uh, my mistake, I thought it was two truth, two lies, is just a, uh, a memory at the altar of reflection. So the question becomes, if the witness was aligned with the traveler, had their own potentially golden age, like why did the witness then become this big baddie who was willed in the darkness? And this is why I've brought him back up, uh, Circadian Wolf. What's your thoughts on this turn of the witness? So yeah, um, the whole thing with the witness that it talks about in the Inspiro book is there's two concepts. There's the concept of kind of like having a purpose, and then there's the concept of sort of beings in suffering. And these are kind of talked about in three main entries. You've got um, Iray, which I think is the seventh entry, where Mara's talking about her encounter with, with the witness. And one of the things she takes from it is the concept of purpose, like just the concept, not a specific purpose, just meaning. And then that ties into the uh What what does she say? Entry. Where is it? whereabouts is it in this entry? Uh it's kind of around the middle. A uh -huh. ninth paragraph. It's like in the noise, in the oppressive weight, I le learn pieces as delicate as spider webs, as scattered as stars. I lay them out along each other in my thoughts. Here is purpose. Not a singular thesis, but the idea of purpose. Yeah. In the ninth entry, which is actually called Meaning. It's called um, Meaning, Gobby. Yeah. It talks about beings, like living creatures in suffering, crave purpose. And it says, being, yeah, it, it, quote, beings yeah. in suffering crave purpose to carry them through. The right. tyrant consumed by ennui or the disenfranchised struggling simply to survive, it is the state of mind, the pain which cries out, give me a reason I should suffer so. And then mm -hmm. that t that ties back into what the witness was talking to about Callus in Lightfall, in there, when Callus loses the veil and the witness starts going off on him, he says that he has no purpose and that mm. I think the quote is, "Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. Our purpose is its end." So kind of tying back pain and purpose here, where. The witness's end goal seems to be the end of suffering. End but of at the pain. same time, yeah, we know that uh, the witness seeks the final shape, which is kind of like this end state where most, if not all, of the universe is dead. And that. Yeah, and that's into... a bit that, like, I kind of. I'm not disagree, but, like, I'm not quite at that bit yet with understanding the final shape mm -hmm. or saying it's like the end of everything. Uh, we, we had a big chat about this and, and you've got lots of like little entries that sort of add up to the idea of just sort of burn it all. It all, it, it's all gone. Like that's how you get rid of pain, suffering. Like that's the, the end state. Whereas I was still probably in the more original definition of the final shape. That's sort of like introducing the books of sorrow and the hive and how it's about just sort of proving you're the strongest in the universe. Yeah. Well, the, the concept of an end is, like, it's talked about quite a bit by Rolk, the concept of finality. And it's, mm. like, Callus also talks about the end as just, like, the death of everything is True. what he refers to it as. Yeah. But then, yeah. like, tying it back to suffering, um, in the Shattered Sun's law book, Rolk's law book from Witch Queen, 
in, I think it's the eighth entry. I can't remember specifically. Is it liberated? One. Liberated, that's it. Yeah, you've got it there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the witness is forcing Rolk to relive the memory of him slaughtering his people, basically. Mm. And when he kills people, the witness makes the point of saying that when they die, their faces inform only relief. As in, like, mm. they're relieved to be dying. So yeah. it kind of gives the idea of, of like uh, relief and death. Yeah, the witness is like existence is suffering. So if I kill everyone, they won't be suffering anymore. <laughs> Sounds like a good dude. Which is, yeah. <laughs> right, and so I mean, how do we link this back then? So, in, so I guess what you're suggesting, the witness and the species that were that the witnesses from turned to the darkness because it gave them purpose through the final shape through understanding the final shape through uh wielding the knife i guess that was the uh, the last sort of piece of law here to like bring it all together yeah that's yeah that's the final entry of the inspire law book winnowing and it yep. yeah ties back to what asa was saying as well asa said that uh, uh, obviously, the witness was visited by the traveler, but he called it a silent god, and the yep. greater—I can't. Was it greater purpose, greater meaning? Mm -hmm. Greater something. Yeah, yeah. A silent god withholds a deeper truth, questions unanswered, longing unfulfilled. Yeah. So it's the idea that yeah, the traveler blessed the witness and its people, but it didn't give them purpose it didn't tell them what to do with that blessing and they wanted to be given purpose and then mm. that's how everything went wrong which leads into the winnowing entry mm -hmm. and so this the, kind that of power, has... you want to read the paragraph i think you're talking about they're, they're domesticated things yeah yeah so yeah, the winnowing entry go on yeah i'll just read this they are domesticated things made in a form. As soon as something is called a garden, it is shaped. The plants require the hand of a gardener, for they have to become weak. For they have become weak and dependent on tender care. They require the hand of the winnower to cut away the dross, for though, for they are too incapable to do it themselves. In absence of a hand, either the flowers themselves must rise up to wield the knife, or the garden will resolve to meaningless wilderness. So, I guess your implication here is the witness was the one to rise up and wield the knife, right? Wield the darkness. Yeah. The whole analogy of flowers and gardens, it's like, it's all incredibly metaphorical. So, like, there, there probably isn't actually a guardian, isn't actually flowers. The black garden exists, but that's a whole nother kettle of fish. Um, but yeah, the idea is that the witness wanted purpose and wasn't given it by the traveller. And so it came up with its own purpose, this concept of the first knife, the final shape. And so... Oh, you reckon the witness came of, up with the final shape? I th Yeah, because what we've been talked about, what Lightfall kind of goes through a lot is the concept of the darkness is more than what the witness says it is. And so the witness has kind of taken darkness and kind of tried to become synonymous with the darkness. And, like, that's the whole sort of thing it did with the Winnower and being a god. It's, yeah, it's trying to say my darkness is the only darkness. And Lightfall was about us discovering that's not the case. Darkness is more than the final shape. Like the strand and connections and all that. And actually, the earlier entries of Inspiral talk about that as well. Like, with other races using darkness in interesting ways. But, yeah, that's that's the kind of premise that the witness took darkness and made this concept of the final shape and is using darkness to enact it. Yes. Yeah, I always associate the final shape with like the deep from the books of sorrow, but the deep, wait, if the deep is the darkness, the deep is the witness. I always get confused now. The, it's the, the witness, isn't it? Cause the witness, the witness yeah, spoke the witness. to Oryx. It is the witness. Okay. That's where I'm getting confused. So yeah, it is, it is the plan of the witness final shape wow i need to watch my own video on the final shape i think yeah there's there's still like people people are still talking about the difference between the winnower and the witness and if there's a difference and if the winnower even exists 
Mm. But based on what we're getting this season and stuff, it does seem that, yeah, the witness is the one responsible for the final shape. Right. Oh, okay. I, at the very base level, interesting story this season is very much seems like Asa is giving us the origin story of the witness, which somehow we will weaponize and use and understand to to work out the overall narrative of like the the portal and the traveler essentially, uh, which is cool. Uh, it's cool to see the origin story of the witness because I really love what they did with Rolk. Um, so. Thing is, there's no real other lore about it, though. That's the issue. Uh, no spoilers. If you've got spoilers, everyone always does this, and it really drives me up the wall. Last time we made this video with Wolf, we predicted Rasputin's death, and then people who had watched data leak stuff and and, and had read spoilers, like, oh, spoilers, spoilers. No. We're literally reading the lore as it's presented and available in the game. Get out I do not like you <laughs> if you post spoilers. And uh, with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel, leave a comment, leave the word. The Witness. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.